welcome back on my channel today we'll see line and stacked column chart with table in power bi so this is the custom visual in power bi so we'll see it in detail like how uh, we create this chart and what is this chart and when we use it okay so let's start uh, so here we'll understand what is line and stacked column chart in power bi and uh, we'll see one like use case okay so it is similar to the line and stacked column combo chart provided out of the box in power bi okay so uh, we have the native visual of uh, line and stacked column chart so this chart is like the same uh, but this we use for the detail analysis with the values uh, with that line and stacked column chart the table is uh, there in below okay so this is similar to the data table that can be displayed on charts in excel and when you want to display a chart and the data values for each series you can accomplish that uh, with this visual okay so uh, let's uh, see it in power bi and uh, when we how to use it is like uh, if we need to like uh, do any quick comparison between two sets of measures then we can use this chart okay so we'll see it in power bi uh, we have the retail data set so here we have the products uh, order date the detail of customers and the products and the segments and the, the country city and state okay so these all details is here in our data set so we'll see like how to import the custom visual in power bi so first for importing the custom visuals we need to click on these three ellipses then we need to just click here to get more visuals then we go to the app source so here we'll get all the custom visuals list so like whatever we require we need to search that visual here or we can just scroll and search that okay so here i'm just writing this tag so here i'm getting line and stacked column chart with table so after clicking there i just need to add these from this option so by just uh, clicking on add we'll get that visual here okay so we'll get this pop-up we just need to click on okay and here we'll get this line and stacked column chart with table okay so for using this chart we just need to click here and then the like whatever fields we require we have to analyze with this chart we need to drag that in this fields section okay so so for a shared axis we can use any like a categorical column like category or the state or the reason so here we can use the reason and then in the column values we can drag the cells like we can analyze total cells and uh, we can use the profit in the line values so we can use the like multiple values here in the line value section so i'm just adding the discount also and then uh, we can add more in the uh, column values also like here i'm adding the profit again so i will get this like this okay we have one quantity column we can add that here okay so here in this chart we will get this like a detailed information regarding these bars so we do not need to like on the data labels for this we can just compare the values like here we have the sales value quantity value profit discount here we can see that in one visual okay so we can just compare these values with each other okay so let's do some formatting for this visual so for doing the formatting we just need to click here and then we have the three sections for this chart so this part is from the table formatting so if we want to format these uh, colors like the table header colors and all those things so we can just do that from the table formatting section so here you will get all the formatting regarding the table part okay after that uh, we have this column here so for doing the color like changing the color of these bars or uh, setting the padding or the spacing so we need to use this section column formatting for this okay so uh, we'll further see it in detail so i'm just telling you this like from where we can do the formatting and then uh, for the axis so y axis we can do this from here and for the title and the labels so here we will get uh, this much sections for the formatting okay so we'll just open the table formatting and we'll just like we can create we can change the background color of this table so if i select this gray color so it will change this background color for this table only okay so after that here we will get the alternating row option or if we just off that so we'll get this background to the all over table okay so we can change the alternating rows uh, color also so like this okay 
then we can just do the conditional formatting like whatever we require we can just create the measure like uh, if our cells is greater than the 5000 then show me that color so we can just create the conditional columns or the measures by using the switch function so we can just drag that here and we just use this here we will get these three options like gradient values and the uh, rules so by using this formatting style option so we can use this as a conditional formatting and we can change the color for anything okay so whatever we require we can do that from here for the conditional formatting and then we can just play with the border style if we don't want to show that then we can just select the none or horizontal only or the vertical only or the all okay then we can just change this uh, border color from here we can just add the padding width border here we can we can just increase the width of the header so from for this section we can increase the width from here we can decrease that also then maximum table height we can set from here okay uh, then the null value placeholders if any so if we want to replace the null values with any like uh, the dash or the space space or anything so we can just add that here and then here we will get all these sections so for shared axis we can do the formatting from here like we can bold these headers okay and then we will get here the row headers so the row headers many we can just do this bold so this section is the row header okay we can do whatever we want from this section for the rows okay and then we'll get one option as a table data so this data is the table data so here we can just change the uh, values color from here we can just set this color we can just bold it we can change the style we can change the font and any we can just increase the size also okay so we can do these things from here and then we'll get the y axis so here we can just use the uh, change the font family then all these things we can do from here we can take stroke weight we can take the spacing like we can increase or decrease the spacing from this y axis and then we can add the y axis title like here we can write this as y axis or anything like what we are showing on that so if we write down anything here so it will be able to so we will be able to see it here okay and then uh, we have the labels so if we want then we can just on the labels but i think we don't need to on the labels in this chart because we will see that whole values here okay for the better understanding and then for column formatting we can do that from here like if we want the cluster then we can just stop that if we don't want the cluster columns then we can just so show it as side by side and uh, we can just increase or decrease the inner padding or as per our designing requirement we can do that okay then we can just set the minimum width conditional formatting also we can apply from we can just add the measure here and create we can just change the color of this we can just change the color of these bars and then this is for the line so we can just change the color of line also from here and we can add the data point size so that uh, this data point will see so it will be increased then we can just increase the weight decrease the weight uh, weight then the visibility so from here we can just hide or show any like particular thing what that we have to highlight so here we can just hide the cells then quantity we can just hide that two lines okay so we can hide as per our requirement we can just show whatever we need okay and then for the uh, background we can just change the color for these things okay so whatever required we we can just reset all these settings from here so if we click here it will get in the default position okay and this is the native features of power bi so we all know this so we can just add this also like title also we can add we can just give the font formatting for this so the, in this way we can just create this chart and this is very important chart like 
so many clients require the detail analysis with the detail values so they can compare it with the each other okay so if your client wants anything like this you can just use this chart and you can refer to my video so that's it about this video thanks for watching this video don't miss to subscribe my channel so that you can receive the upcoming videos notification and uh, thank you for watching this video